Hey guys, if you enjoy watching our videos, please consider subscribing to our channel. Also hit that notification bell and you will be notified when we post future videos. Give those fingers some exercise and hit that like button. That lets us know that you like and enjoy our videos. Also, leave a comment. We're here 24-7. We'd love to hear from you. So let's get right to the video. Enjoy. Charlie, what do you got on your head? Charlie, you want a piece of cake? You want a little piece of cake? <laughs> there is nothing we wouldn't do for this little guy. We love keeping him happy. We want him to live a good life. He makes us laugh every single day. <laughs> this Vanville struggle is real. We cannot wait to get back on the open road. Between me and the lawnmower guys, we're going to be making a lot of noise here. So it's been a while since I used a router and it doesn't look too pretty, but it doesn't have to be because this light switch is going over it and cosmetically it looks great. I've got these two holes here. That's from the uh, electrical box that I had there before. It's probably easier just to patch them up and sand it and repaint than uh, changing the actual board. So right now, I don't have any electricity in here. I can't turn on the fan. I don't have any lights. I gotta get this electrical box up and going again. It's gonna make my life a lot easier. Oh boy, let's see if we can finish this box and see if we can finally get it done. I think I told you guys that I did this box three times already. This is going to be my fourth time and I decided that I wasn't going to put the light switch here. I was just going to put it on the wall. So I've got to redo this piece here. I'm going to recut it and then finish up this box. deep breath if you ever buy a jigsaw make sure you get one with a quick release it makes things so much easier I really didn't have to stain the inside because nobody will really notice but it's always going to bother me knowing that it's not stained so I'm just going to stain it and we're going to let that dry All right, it's getting dark outside. I just barely made it. But as you can see, the lights are on. Uh -huh. So now we've got the light switch here. We've got the electrical box up top. Originally, I had the uh, light switch over here, but it makes more sense to have it here. It's more visible and easier to operate. All right, so I'm back at it again. So the first thing I got to do today is get this organized. I don't know how I let it get this far, but it is a mess. So the next thing I got to work on is the bed. There's a couple of things that I got to do in order to make it functional. Now that I got the electricity going again, that is one less thing that I've got to think about. So now that I'm back working on the van, it reminds me when I was down in Florida with Jen and Earl. And they've got a really cool dog. His name is Chester. And Earl has uh, taught Chester some tricks. 
And one of them is that he can sing. When you howl, Chester will howl, and he can't help himself. I get a lot of people ask me when I'm walking Charlie what kind of dog he is. And Charlie's a Yorkie. But a lot of people always say that he looks like a schnauzer. And we have a funny story about that. When Charlie was younger, he looked like a Yorkie. He had a lot of hair. And we took him in to get his first haircut. And for some reason, when I went to pick Charlie up, the girl had butchered him. So when I was taking a picture of him, I think he knew <laughs> that I was laughing at him. That's not our mattress, by the way. We have owned two inches, four inches, five inch mattresses, and we found that seven inches is the most comfortable to sleep in. We bought this frame on Amazon. It was about $125. We've got the same frame up in the room where we're staying at right now. And all I did was just use the top of the frame to make this bed. So there was a lot of modifications that I had to do, but this bed is so sturdy and the one that we have in the room right now, we just love it. So what I gotta do right now is I've gotta measure from this side to this side. If you notice there's a curve to the wall, it's not allowing the bed to go up. The width of the bed is too long. I'm gonna have to cut the wood. Hey baby. Hey. How you feeling? Feel good. A lot better? A lot better. I don't know if I look so good, but I feel better. <laughs> so what's your whole take on the van? You liking it? You digging it? Digging it. Big time. Looking good. It's looking amazing. Charlie? Are you sleepy? Today's a little gloomy. It's raining just a little bit. It shouldn't be too bad today, so hopefully I can get some work done. I really need to get this bed situated. So I pretty much had to take the bed apart and do all the readjustments to get it working. So I want to take a second to reflect on our last two videos. We talked a lot about the vaccine and COVID and why we got the vaccine in the first place. And we got a lot of comments on those two videos and it was like 50-50. People are always going to be divided on this issue or any other issue, but it's okay because that's what makes the world go round. All right, so this is what happened. On Sunday, me and Gina, we went and we got the first dose of the vaccine. On Monday, we were feeling like shit. We had COVID. It was expected because everybody in the house already had it. Did the vaccine help us get through it? I can't answer that, and I don't think anybody else can either. All I know is that during that time, I'd rather have had the vaccine than not have it. Especially for Gina, because she got it the worst. All I gotta say is this, the people that are vaccinated should not have to worry about the people that are not vaccinated. I think this is getting really political and it shouldn't be that way. So once again, we looked at our options and we looked at our age group. Me and Gina are in our 50s, so it just made sense for us. We waited a while. We were one of those people that didn't want to get the, the vaccine. But you know what? Nobody has turned into a zombie yet. So it's going to be okay. We are pro-choice, pro-freedom, pro-right, whatever it is that you want to call it. We believe that people should have the right to decide what they put in their body. 
So I don't want to bore you with just a boring video about the van build. A lot of people are interested in that and some aren't. But I was having this conversation with my brother Michael. We were walking in the neighborhood and we started talking. And we were talking about that when you first start doing something, you're not that good at it. But once you get into it and you start doing it enough, then you become better and you become more experienced. Just like this. I don't know anything about this, but I'm getting a lot of knowledge by doing this. So as we were talking, it got me thinking about this story when I was a kid. I used to watch Happy Days a lot. I used to love the Fonz. Hey. Well, the Fonz wanted to get into this contest and he didn't really have any skill. So what he started doing was he would take these coins and he would put it on his elbow and then he would bring his hand down and he would catch all these freaking coins and he got really good at it. So when I was a kid, I started practicing and doing that and I got really good at it. I'm gonna show you how good I got. Let's turn up the music on this one. So I don't have a lot of coins, so we're gonna use some poker chips and it's pretty much the same. We got some chips and we'll just take a stack of them. So you guys get an idea of what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna take one chip, I'm gonna put it right there in my elbow, and then I'm just gonna catch it. But we're gonna do these with a lot of chips. And there's my brother Michael. Hey, you wanna be in the video? Yeah, sure. Why not? I'll be part of this creation. So I got a stack of chips here. I'm gonna put this on my elbow, and let's see if we can make this happen. Bam! There you go. Will this work? Once. Oh. <laughs> what did you think? I was gonna get it on the first try? <sighs> Where do I even begin? This project has been really draining and stressful. It feels like everything that I do, I have to keep redoing over and over and over again. It reminds me when I was a GM, I would have to make out the schedule and make sure that we had enough employees to fill the shifts. When I did a truck order, I had to make sure that I ordered enough food so we have to feed our customers. Employees were always an issue they would always come in late. That was stressful. And I feel like this is the same thing right now that I'm feeling. It's like you have to get all these pieces together. I mean, this is probably why I lost all this shit. <sighs> I know things are gonna come together and they're gonna come out the way I want it to. But I feel like right now, I'm in the same situation here. So I'm redoing the uh, bed frame once again. And the issue that I'm having is that when I lift up the bed frame, I can only go up so high and it's gotta be higher in order for us to be able to get some of the stuff underneath. So I'm gonna have to rework it. I wanna get this done today. So I couldn't film anything yesterday because I was so pissed. Originally, I had some screws in here and I had to uh, take them out to redo the frame. And when I tried to do that, the head got stripped. And it took me forever to get it out. It wasn't only one. I had about four or five of them. So I'm going to put my big boy pants on. I'm going to strap up my boots. And I'm going to get this done.
killing me. All right, I finished up the bed frame and it is fully functional now. Thank you, Lord, baby, Jesus. Now, when I get all the boards back in place, this will be a lot sturdier and I can bring this all the way up. The next thing I've got to do is I've got to cover the edges on the left hand side, in the back, and also on the right. This way, if anything falls over, it's not going to end up in the bottom. I've got to work on making some partitions. This will separate the storage down below. I'm leaving this space here available. This is where I plan to put the diesel heater. I had to make a pit stop over at Home Depot. I needed a piece of wood to cover the front end of the bed frame. And I gotta tell you, right now, wood is so expensive. This is the wood that I picked up. I got two pieces of wood. It's a tongue and groove. I wanted one piece, but like I said, right now, wood is so expensive. So this made a lot of sense. This was $10 a board. That's gonna go in front of the bed frame. And I wanted to make sure that it flushes in with this piece of wood. All right, guys, we're going to end this vlog here. Thank you so much for following us on this van build. If you haven't subscribed yet, you can do so at the end of the video. We look forward to seeing you on the next one. Give it, baby. No. Give it back to me. Bye-bye.